Nistra here, and last night we got two new cards released for the Gate Guardian deck. Um, and now this is going to be the first uh, simultaneous release uh, Gate Guardian cards because you know for the for the longest we've had um, Gate Guardian be a TCG exclusive. Now they've been released in the OCG, so now um, Gate Guardian is getting its like next wave of support you know like when tcg archetypes go over to japan it gets like one last wave of support um and then i you know more support is kind of like good luck <laughs> at that point um but yeah so we we're getting two new cards we're getting the dark guardian from Yu-Gi-Oh gx and we're getting the dark element and both of these are coming in phantom nightmare the new set with all the new infernoids um, and a bunch of new like sinful spoil stuff. So Dark Guardian is kind of like a reverse Gate Guardian. Uh, re reverse Gate Guardians combined, where instead of banishing the Sangha, Kazujin, and Suijin from hand, field, or grave, it returns Sangha, Kazujin, and Suijin anywhere, basically from field, hand, grave, or banish cards. Almost amazing because now, like, if you are able to make a combined, you can make a, a reverse combined. So a combined no longer, like, by itself is no longer just a combined. A combined now equals you can have like two two monsters on field, like, with over three thousand five hundred attack, like, and it could summon itself from graveyard too. So you can mill it. You can once your three elements are set up either in the banish zone and grave like you banish them for a fusion and then still summon out the dark guardian you do still need all three which is kind of ass <laughs> not gonna lie to you because if it was just like one at a time this card would be amazing but the fact that you need all three really really hurts um this card's like consistency to do anything i think like it being unaffected like, its final effect is that when it if it's special summoned with Dark Element, the new spell card, it's unaffected by monster effects and your opponent's activated spell effects. So not continuous spell effects for some reason, but just activated spell effects. Um, Dark Hole, Lightning Storm, not going to touch him. Uh, I don't believe you could steal him with Triple Tactics. I don't know what else the, mo the spell effects would really care about Dark Guardian, but I guess it's a cool card for you know putting up otks and stuff and we're, we're gonna get into some of the otk potential in a bit but now we also have the dark element which if you have a gate guardian monsters in your graveyard and um if you read the first line of dark guardian it's always treated as a gate guardian card so this this is a pretty is a pretty good combination together you pay half your life points which ugh, man it does set up for the, Ryo the Ryoku Guardian, but it does not allow you, like, I don't like paying half my life points, like, in, in Gate Guardian at least, because I feel like this deck needs to, like, it needs a turn or two where you're just getting hit by your opponent to kind of make a comeback, like, the way it is right now. You special summon a level 11 or higher Gate Guardian monster from hand deck or extra deck, which means you can summon the original Gate Guardian, you can summon Dark Guardian, or you can summon Gate Guardians combined. Ignoring so many conditions, right? So you can banish this card from your grave, and then just like every other Gate Guardian spell and trap, it gets to add one of the names, deck or banish pile to hand. And that is like, it's good, don't get me wrong. It, it's good support, but it's not what we needed. <laughs> what we needed was uh, well, a way better start. We, we need better starters. We need something that stops Gate Guardian from being like entirely two card combos that like somewhat get you there. Like, two card combos into a small fusion is, like, the best that Gate Guardian had in terms of combo by itself. Where it's like, you need to mix it with other engines. You need to mix in either Kashdira or the Branded Engine or, you know, um, that Fusion Pile Small World build that I made. It feels like this, this support is cool for what it is and what it's going to add to Gate Guardian, but I don't think it's going to answer Gate Guardian's problems. It's only going to make OTKs easier, which... OTKs were not that hard to begin with. If you resolved a hero lives and had any other and had a field spell or tank, you pretty much had game anyway. Like we don't need to OTK. We need more consistency. But let's get into some of the replays just to show you guys anyway what the potential of Gate Guardian with the new dark support is. And yes, Armageddon Knight is now like I believe this card is like a staple now. I, I don't think you there's any 
debate to that. Like, the discard should be in your list now that Dark Guardian can summon itself out from Graveyard, and it can uh, reuse some of the banished materials. I think Armageddon Knight having the option to pivot between uh, Zephyros, Destrudo, Dark Guardian, I, I see it as a staple. So, Armageddon Knight normal, mill the Zephyros after we place a name down, right? So, basically, we get to use Field Spell twice. Field spell, go for Kazijin, um, and then summon our Thunder and Wind. Uh, Cross Sheep's gonna activate here, revive Arma. Arma's going to mill Dark Guardian. Look at that. Look at how easy that setup was. Now we're gonna Guardian Thunder and Wind, we're gonna activate Dark Element. Dark Element, because Dark Guardian is Gate Guardian and it's in our graveyard, we're allowed to summon Gate Guardians combined. And then Dark Dark Element, you know, because it gives both effects in the same turn, it can add the Suijin. And then we can shuffle back all three to summon Dark Guardian from Graveyard using his own built-in summon. And now that is most definitely game. You know, like, cool, we got a two-card OTK. <laughs> Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! in, like, 2015. Um, and it's like it only uses two cards in hand, so, like, the four other cards in hand could just be to break the opponent's board down. But, like, we have, like, almost no interaction with the opponent on this board besides combined and i don't think combined is going to be doing much um dark guardian can't be destroyed by battle and because it wasn't summoned with dark element it doesn't really do much by itself um and now because we've um gotten rid of all of our banished materials thunder and wind is no longer a floater um we would have to hope that they get that they get rid of combined first and then maybe you can get something with that but now um one of our floaters has just lost its, its ability to float so if thunder and wind leaves field like that's it but yeah like droplet plus this should be game because this is this is too much damage for them to, <laughs> this is nearly this is like 200 this is like 550 points away from i know 450 points away from game from from 8k so yeah, a single droplet and like a lightning storm just should should get you the game if you open Arbor Knight plus Wall Shadow. But this this combo is so vulnerable because it loses to a single uh, Bistial. It loses to a single Bistial. If they Bistial your um, Armageddon Knight or your Zephyros or your Dark Guardian, <laughs> it's it's really fragile. So and then we can look at what Prisma does. You know, Prisma plus Field Spell, which I think it's like. I still don't think this is amazing. It's good that like Prisma has like a better use going first. Like I think Prisma was like the best going second card because first off it milled the name anyway. Even if your opponent negated its effect, it still milled the name. And um, because you're paying half your life points, you're setting up for the Ryoku Guardian. Going first, I don't think Prisma was good because you're paying too much of your life points to only put like a few monsters on board. And like that really opened you up to getting gamed way too quickly. So like this, this would be like an OTK right here, right? Because it's like if Prisma plus Kazuyu search Ryoku Guardian, sixty five hundred attack <laughs> into four thousand life points that your opponent and your opponent's life points would get half, so they'd only be at four thousand. Like that could have been game, but you know now going first, we could turn that into a, um, our Thunder and Wind into a Gravity Controller. Which be really careful. You have to summon this in the extra monster zone to summon Gravity Controller. Um, because it has to use a non-link monster in the extra monster zone. And then because Thunder and Wind is a gate guardian monster in our graveyard, we get to activate Dark Element, and we're gonna summon out combined here. And we get to bring out the Sui Jin. Um, so it's like basically the, the, the theory here is we have Guardians combined here, and Guardians combined is gonna be able to float into Wind and Water. And then when Wind and Water leaves, you're going to be able to revive the Kazijin, meaning you will have all three Kazijin, Suijin, and Song of the Thunder between your field, grave, and hand. So you'll be able to summon out another combined next turn. Also, because, you know, combined stops things from being targeted, so they won't be... It, it'll be unlikely that they get rid of your Wall Shadow, unless they get rid of combined first. And Gravity Controller is kind of cool because he came to destroy by battle with monsters in main monster zone. And if he battles a monster in the extra monster zone, he can bounce himself and the monster he's battling back into deck, which in this case is the extra deck. So it, it provides really good follow-up. Like, I think Dark Element is 
the best of the two cards here because Dark Guardian would not mean much if Dark Element did not exist. <laughs> so Dark Element definitely makes this new support like really good. And because it's another spell card that searches out the names, now we have four spell cards, uh, four spells and traps that search the names. And it's like, okay, now Magician Souls has even more utility in our deck, has even more of a purpose in the Gay Guardian package. I just hope Souls gets printed, <laughs> gets reprinted so it's affordable. Um, I'm kind of tired of this, of that card being like 25 bucks. I'm so tempted to just sell them and just wait for uh, a, a reprint, you know. But yeah, and like you mix this with like a Floodgate or two, like a Summon Limit or a TC Bow, and this is a really strong opening hand. A really strong opening hand. Like Gate Guardians, even in their um, most primal form, feel like they're good with mixing with floodgates. I feel like you you still have to, this still has to be the floodgate deck. I don't think this is a good control deck yet. It's still like the floodgate deck. Like you have to go first, you have to set up a floodgate. Otherwise it's like, what's the point? So now we have Gate Guardian uh, with a dark element plus branded fusion, right? So branded fusion gets to mill any dark monster if you go for Lubelion, so you get Basically, Mirror Jade plus a Dark Monster Great, which are Dark Monsters, Dark Guardian, meaning that if you go into a Mirror Jade, then you can activate Dark Element and summon out Combined or another copy of Dark Guardian from deck if you play more than one. Um, I'm not too sure if more than one Dark Guardian should be played. Um, testing is still being done, uh, but this is another way that you can get to at least some interruption without even using your normal summon. But this can only be used in a in a version of Gate Guardian that focuses entirely on fusion, so either Fusion Pile or Branded Gate Guardian as a whole. Um, also, because you have Dark Element and Preajuric Guma Engrave, you would be able to make, to search two names if you had a third name field spell access to a third name in any way shape or form you'd be able to summon a second combined and put them back into deck to summon out dark guardian so you'd have four monsters on field um and it, even if they nibbed you you'd be able to summon out two fusions from your extra deck including a thunder and wind to search more interruption so it's it's cool right like i think branded with this works but that's if you open both of these and if branded fusion resolves so we're still kind of getting there like this is not bad support by any means but um it doesn't solve all the problems with gate guardian and now we're gonna go into the fusion pile combos um so at first i was like well you know um since i've shown you guys uh an Armageddon Knight build, which was like the Dark Synchro Gate Guardian build, and then I showed you guys like a Prism build, which is like more pure Gate Guardian build, like pure Floodgate kind of Gate Guardian. Now I'm going to show you guys like the Fusion Pile, the Small World Gate Guardian. And you're seeing like four cards in hand. In reality, this is like three, which I know, but um, the the, the Jirai Gumo here could could really just be anything. It's just I'm using it for like Discard Father. Um, so basically, we set up Prisma, and then we go into Keeper of Drag Magic, and then um, if you guys know the Keeper of Drag Magic combo, it like unbricks your hand, which is great. the The only issue is is that it locks you into Fusion. So both of the other combos, they don't lock you into Fusions, but if you're playing Fusion Pile Gate Guardian, you get locked into Fusion pretty early in your turn, and it's not even like you can summon Link monsters before you Fusion. It's like you cannot summon monsters from the extra deck except Fusions. Like the turn you activate is effect, so you might as well get the most out of it, right? So we're gonna get Ambulum Mates, search the Buffa Lakula, Keeper Drag Magic, revive the Sewage and set, Ambulum Mates, Tribute Keeper, summon out Darlingtonia, Darlingtonia, allow you to search Branded Fusion, Branded Fusion, now mill two. Now we can mill Dark Guardian with Branded Fusion, so now Branded Gate Guardian has a little more utility. Um, we go into Lubelion here, Lubelion is going to discard, get us Mirror Jade, go for, um, Gate Guardian of Wind and Water, and now we've just made a four interruption board. That's two spell and trap negates, Mirror Jade, plus Dragos And I know it's like a really sacky hand that we opened. <laughs> like we opened like Hero Lives plus Keeper plus a name. Um 
And in our grave, we have we have Kazijin. In our banished, we have um, Suijin and Prisma. So it's like because we open the Jirai Gumo, we will be able to summon back the, the, the Dark Guardian and go for game. So like Fusion Pile is a better deck now because Dark Guardian exists. But this still isn't like amazing. This is this is great. Don't get me wrong. This is good. But look at how many cards we had to go through, like just to get here. Uh, we we have to pray that our keeper drag matcher doesn't get imperm, doesn't get ashed, um, and we have to also open one of the names like Suijin or Kazijin or something. Otherwise, like this just does not work. So. Fusion Pile, like the highest ceiling that Gate Guardian has is with Fusion Pile because it, it you get the most out of all your cards and uh, out of the cards in your deck for playing fusions. But at the same time, it's like you're locked, like you, you lose a lot of that, like, um, you lose a lot of options that, that you could make with other versions of the deck when you play the Fusion Pile. So. It's really personal preference as to which version of Gate Guardian that you want to play, but I still think the issue is with the number of starters for Gate Guardian. And it's like, if you look at Fusion Pile, you think, oh, well, if Branded Fusion just does everything, then you can just, you know, play more, play more of a Despia branded package to make sure that you get to Branded Fusion. And it's like, Branded Fusion doesn't do everything. You need that Keeper of Dragon Magic. <laughs> Keeper of Dragon Magic carries the Fusion Pile version of Gate Guardian. Like it, it does. I don't think this could work without it. Uh, maybe if you like raw open an instant fusion, you can have like this board. Like you, like you can have like um, these two, Dragon Sapalia plus Ice Jade. But like this was a really sacky hand. So I don't know. Um, and I don't really have a deck list for you guys because. There's, there's like no lines with like Dark Guardian and Dark Element that like are not lines that you could already do anyway. Like there's nothing really interesting. Like other than like that Prisma combo, there's nothing really interesting. It just gives you another body on board to OTK with. That's all that this that this support does. And um, I think most people agree that we would rather get newer versions of like the three names like Kazijin, Suijin, and Song of the Thunder. Like if we had versions of these cards that like actually did something when they were face up in the spawn trap zone, we would be looking at a really good support. I'm hoping maybe Maze of Millennia could give us some more Gate Guardian support or something for us to work with besides just um besides just this Phantom Nightmare support, so we'll see. But um I mean, these are two cool new cards, and I, I I think like this will resurge the interest in Gate Guardian for at least um, a, a month or so after um, Dark Guard uh, after Phantom Nightmare comes out. So, hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think of the Gate Guardian support in the comment section below. I know my deck looks a mess, and that's because this isn't a deck. This is just everything I could possibly test all at once, <laughs> um, all in the same list. So. Um, this has been your boy Nistro here, signing out.